Greetings from Serpent Consulting Services. That is limited. We have developed numerous business solutions using Odoo, considering many business protocols. One of them I'm going to walk you through today is the gym management software. This software is an entire ERP package to help you manage gym operations for a single branch or even multiple branches. This lets you manage your customers, the trainers, and schedules very efficiently. So let us see all the functionality of the solution. Here you can see the members dashboard. All of the members that you have currently in that are currently enrolled, you can have the list here. Currently, I have five. You can keep. The measurement history for all the members similarly you can manage your trainers you can have trainers that you have in your gym you can have all of their data here you can have membership and membership plans for all your customers to allow them to have a different kinds of box Workout. Workouts is an essential part of the gym. So you can have different workout plans and you can assign it to the person as per their need. Diet is another important aspect. You can add your food items, you can add diet meals, you can add routines and assign it to them like the workout. You can uh, book your trainers, the customers or the members of your gym can book trainers for different different sessions as per their need. The attendances of your members is also an essential part. So we have functionality for that also. You can have different reporting structures. We have reports for measurement and pedometer. All this I'll brief you as we come one by one through the video. Uh, today I'm going to brief you about is the configuration. We have a configuration for five parts like its equipment, body parts, exercises, service type and trainer skills. First let me begin with the equipment. <clears throat> so here you can store the information of all those equipment or parts that you have in your gym which will be used by the members. You can set the cost. You can set the exercise type to like which body part is gonna be affected by this particular equipment. The company name, if you wanna store any, like if there is a particular company that you have associated with for the equipment, you can store the information. And this is for the data purpose. You can store the purchase date of the same. And if there are internal notes, any description, like uh, this is under maintenance or something, this is not active. So you can store the information. You can see all the different types of equipments that I have configured. You can see in inclined bench press, leggings, extension machine, dumbbells, etc. Similarly, body parts. You are going to store measurement history of your members so for whichever body part you want to have the information to be stored you're going to uh, configure it here like there is chest then shoulders here you can store only the name so this will help you keep the data for your members similarly the exercise the common exercises that you want to be stored like I have so many here, pull-ups, pull-down, deadlift, dip, leg extension, and so many. Okay, so you can have the name here and what is this particular exercise, exercise for, which body part is it focusing on. So it, go, it is legs and the equipment it is going to use. Let's say I'm using bench press and the benefits of it. What, if, what happens if you are using this particular exercise of particular equipment and doing this exercise on it for this particular period, let's say for seven days, what will be the benefit of it? 
if there are any particular steps to be followed like step when you just get a warm up and then you go a bit bit higher on weight then you can do it if there are any images like if if if, uh, if there are any images saying for the leg extension how it should be how the posture of the body should be you can add it. and if there are videos for reference you can have the video name and the link similarly you can add any number of exercises you want you can see i have done it for pull ups too it's going to use pull up bar of course now so the step so gym may provide many different different services apart from what they are actually giving to the members so two are there like nutritional counseling may, some people may need a proper balanced diet for themselves so they may be counseling for the same there may be some counselors in the gym who may be providing this particular information if needed another service is like personal training like someone wants a personal training uh, if he wants to align his body in a particular shape for in a very short period of time like like three months specifically or six months so he can hire a personal trainer who is dedicatedly working on themselves you can add all the necessary sales price like for hiring any personal trainer so the extra sales price will be 2000 and and the product product type to service etc you can add internal notes to okay trainer skills there may be different different trainers you may be having more than one trainer in your gym and they may be having different skills like for for example i have configured three like yoga trainer personal trainer and cardio trainer so all of them will be having different different areas of expertise where they can train or uh, have the skills to be given to the members like there is one for uh, you can say yoga there is a yoga trainer there is a personal trainer and there is a cardio trainer like specifically he has expertise in for cardio training So uh that's it for this video I'm going to read and show you the next functionalities in another video thank you for watching have a great day